Yesterday, the former Chelsea and Bayern Munich gaffer Thomas Tuchel became the new manager of England and their national side. But what does he need to do to win the World Cup? Well, first of all, we believe, and uh, we believe that the federation is ready. We believe that the group of players is ready. I think it, the, the script's pretty, pretty clear for Thomas Tuchel. He has to win the World Cup. They think it's all over. It is now. It's for 18 months, and he has to win the World Cup. We were absolutely delighted to end up with Thomas. And we believe he gives us the best chance of winning the World Cup. So we believe we've got the best candidate for the job. I will do everything that we have to get a second star on our shirt. Yes, the former Chelsea Man Munich gaffer Thomas Tuchel has been named as the New England gaffer. 51-year-old has signed an 18-month deal. I still don't get that. Which keeps him at the club until the end of the 2026 World Cup. I do like the way that we've given him that deal as if to say, go with the World Cup and then we'll see you later. No, no, but, uh, like we don't want you to be England manager for too long. Just just go and win the World Cup, then you can go. No, but I think you have, you have got to be reasonable. I think you've got to be clever. Do you know what I mean? Rather than just splurging, it's a four-year deal. Managers very rarely get that long. 18 months to me is, I think, more than normal rate now. than Other than Gareth Southgate, it was an anomaly because of the job that he did. Yeah. Um, and but by the way, there were people that were calling him to go after the Italy. So he might yeah. not have lasted that long. Yeah. Do, do you think with, with England... That if we win the World Cup 20, you know, every time we go into the tournament, mm-hmm. got to get to the semis, got to get to the final, we've got to win it, right? Yeah. Every tournament now. Mm-hmm. Do you think all of that disappears if we win the World Cup? As in, like, with the World Cup, two years later, we've got the Euros. Do you, do you think it's like, it don't matter now, won the, won the World Cup, I don't really care? I, I wouldn't say you don't care, but I do think that maybe there's a little bit of a like, relaxed, more relaxed approach to it. I still think you've got your own personal standards and your own personal pride. So, yeah. Like, I know Italy, what they did in fact was fantastic when they won the Euros 2020. I haven't been anywhere near it since. It's been terrible yeah. since then. But, but but we'd take that, wouldn't we? So I, I almost feel like we're in a different place to them because what they've, they've won the World Cup four times. They've won is the it Euros. Cool, it? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's one of those where I understand their standards are maybe a little bit higher than England's because of how often they've won it. I mean, the last time they won it was, what, 2006? They won the World Cup 2006 and yep. then won the Euros 2020. So it ain't that far apart. No. Do you know what I mean? So, But we're still searching for one from since 66. I know. It's nuts. Uh, so on the back of that, we've asked Bentley what his five-point plan for Thomas Tuchel would be to win the World Cup. Now, we've got five categories, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, these are maybe... I, do I say these or, or Bentley? These is what... You're going to bring them up. You've come up with your five categories mm-hmm. as to what... Because to, Thomas listens to this show mm-hmm. and he's probably there now going, get me a, get me a pen and paper. Trust me, shout so out Tommy T. Shout out Tommy T. So what have you come up with, Bentley? What's he got to do to win the World Cup? So first one, I think, is making big decisions. Now, that might seem like, what, what are you talking about? But I think previous managers, Gareth at a point, um, certainly Lee Carsley uh, in the last game when he tried to shoot in all those attackers, I think clearly there are certain players that play better for their club and haven't played that well for England. Yes, they're still fantastic players. We're not taking anything away from them. But don't just try and get these good players in for the sake of getting them in, i.e. Phil Foden. We know how good he is for Manchester City. We haven't seen that Manchester City Phil Foden for England. If that means maybe just put him on the left to get him in the team don't do that because you're never going to see the best of him Jack Grealish for me plays better out there um, than Phil Foden does so you start Jack Grealish so if you've got to leave out a Cole Palmer yeah. you've got to leave out I know he's not going to but I'm just saying if you've got to leave out a Drew Bellingham or a Cole Palmer or a Jack Grealish or a Phil Foden okay, so then, let me, then let leave me, them let me one. ask you this then let's just say he's more of a fan of Cole Palmer than he is Bukayo Saka yeah, and he picks Cole Palmer on the right. Yeah, are you are you sitting there now saying, well, don't put Saka in the team then? Yeah, you have to, if, but make big decisions rather than then try and shoot Saka in at left wing back. Yeah, do you know what I mean? If that if that's if you're the manager, I, I might not agree with that putting taking Saka out, which I won't agree with. But I would go. Do you know what? At least you've gone and tried to make your own decision. You've you've gone. I am not going to listen to anyone else. He's I'm, picking players for the positions. Exactly. He's not rather than putting Bellingham up front and Cole Palmer playing next to Declan Rice and all this nonsense. I don't want to see any of that. Stick to make big decisions and stick to them, which I think he will do. I agree with you. Okay, that's number one. Making big decisions. Number two would be what? It's got to be this left back situation. Like it, inf- it infuriates me because there are left backs out there, and I hate managers that will put someone in their position because look, what am I trying to say? So, Drew Bellingham is a better all round player than Ollie Watkins, would you say? Yeah? Do, yes. Right. But Drew Bellingham is not a better player than Ollie Watkins playing centre forward. No. That's Ollie Watkins' position. So, if you've got natural wing-backs, now, if these are all fit, Shaw, Chilwell, uh, Leif Davis, Tariq Mitchell, they're all naturally left-footed players. Don't put Trent over there 
for the sake of getting him in. Find a left back that let, gives you let balance. Let me play de- devil's advocate. Yeah, we've seen some great left backs from Maldini to Dennis Irwin. Yeah, my name is right foot as well. I remember? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So we, I'm talking about left full backs with a right foot. Yeah, but th- these ones are not, they're not him. Maldini, you're talking about one of the, okay, the, but Dennis Irwin's an unbelievable player. Yeah, but no, again, none of them are him. Dennis Irwin, are they? Dennis Irwin's one of the best full backs. I know, but pr- Trent's up there, right? Yeah, but, but right back. No, don't put him over at left back. No, but what I'm saying is Dennis Owens' right foot to play left back. Yeah, but so why can't you put a right foot to like Trent at left back? Because I think you lose balance. You, I think you lose balance. But, but it can be done, is my point, right? It, it can be, but again, you're shoehorning players in for the sake of it. Like Trent Alexander Arnold is a wonderful footballer. He's not a better left back than Luke Shaw. No, he's not. He's, just, he's, not, he's not a better left back than Ben Chilwell. These guys have been playing it for the last 15, 20 okay, years. Okay, but you're a big fan of Leif Davis. Yeah. Leif Davis or Trent? What, a left back? Yeah. Leif Davis. Because he's a left back by trade. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, no, I, I hear that. I get that. So I would go left back. On by the way, uh, obviously Rico Henry will be back for Brentford, so he's going to be in the conversation mm-hmm. as well. But yeah, find a left back and stick with it. And I know okay. Shaw's had there his injury problems, Ben Chilwell, but you do have to remember what Ben Chilwell did for Thomas Tuchel. Yeah, well, we'll, talk, we'll talk about wing backs because on the other side of that as well, you have another of option as well. But yeah, find a left left back. Okay, the next one. So you've got making big decisions, finding left back. The next one has surprised me. What are you going for? So it's settle on the number one. Mm. Now, Pickford has been reliable, but I think sh- cracks have started to show. I mean, that last international at Wembley against Greece. Horror show. Horror show. Mm. Um, and Dean Henderson's playing week in, week out. Ramsdale's gone to Southampton. Now, he's playing week in, week out. Um, Does Lick- it matter if a goalkeeper, and we talked about this with Pickford with Everton last season, but Ramsdale isn't... I mean, Southampton aren't doing great. They're in the bottom three. I think no. they're one from bottom at the moment. No, and he's making sense. Does, does that make a difference? Uh, potentially, because you're, you're more busy. You've got Nick Pope at, at Newcastle as well. But I think you need to settle on the number one. If Pickford's your number one, fair play. You continue with it. But I do think certain people are starting to look at these other goalkeepers and thinking, hmm. Give them a chance. Give them a chance now, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, three down, two to go. Another one I've gone with, what did you do with Reese James? A fit Reese James, I obviously. Fit Reece James, That's yeah. the problem, though, isn't it? Yeah, because, again, when Reese James was playing with Ben Chilwell, those two as fullbacks, they were almost the best attacking options for Chelsea at well, one it, point. It was them and um, Robertson and Trent, right? Yeah. It was who's the best better pair of full backs yeah. now if he if he goes with a, a three at the back and two wing backs and Reese James and Ben Chilwell are fit and playing well for Chelsea that's a discussion to be had because he he got the best out of those two like and when them two got injured simultaneously at the same time they fell off a cliff Chelsea yeah. completely went so I, I, I am a big big fan of Reese James I think he is such a, a fantastic footballer I think he can defend really well I think he doesn't mind the 1v1 battles I think he's comfortable in possession I think his distribution is very very good but the one problem he's got is the fitness element. He just he can't stay fit. No. Now, if he does get fit and can play a sustained amount of time for Chelsea, I don't know, four, five, six months without getting an injury, and he's playing at a high level and Chelsea are floating around that top four as well, it's then what do you do with Reese James? Do you bring him back in? Do you not? Because all managers, as I said to you before, will look back at players who have done well for them yes, before. I get that. And that makes sense, which is why we spoke about Mason Mount earlier on. Exactly. If you trust the player and you know he's never let you down... Yeah. You, and you're unsure about what to do you always look back and go do you know what like Big Sam's a big prime example signing players Harry Redknapp these guys sign players they've had before because they're like they do you know what him. you've never ever let me down you and I know yeah. if you know exactly how I operate and exactly how I want to play so I think Reese James is a big question mark as to what to do with him ok uh, you've got one left I don't know how this is different to the first one so this one's picking his best 11 but I've obviously I've picked the, the 11 that I think he'll Oh, start okay, with. so you've picked his best 11 of yeah, you? Yeah, okay. well, he, which I think he'll go with. So this is not your 11, this is what you think he will go with if everyone's fit? Yes. Okay, this will be fascinating. Go on then. Pickford in goal. Okay. Because first international, I, I, I mean, unless he goes in there and drops... What, so, sorry, what game is this for? His first game or World Cup final? His first game in charge. Okay. Right. Pickford in goal. What formation are you playing? Three, four, three. Type three, three, four, three. Yeah, right. Okay. But it's more like a three, five, two, isn't it? But you know. Yeah. So Pickford and goal. Stones right at the three. Mark Gahey, Levar Corwell play on that left. Left footed. Okay. No Harry Maguire. No. Right wing back, Trent. Left wing back. Now if everyone's fit, I think he'll start with Shaw. Okay. But if he's not fit, I think he'll start maybe or Ben Chill, depending where he's at. I think he'll have a look at Leaf Davis at Ipswich. For sure. He has to because he's been playing so well at left back. Yeah, I think you look at Rico Lewis as well. So, but I think and, and Tyre, but, but not Trent. No, Trent will play right back. He'll start. Oh, right, right back. point. Because to so, no Carl Walker. No, I think you'd have had that conversation with him. And gone, you know, Carl, I'm going for a new system. You've been brilliant for England. 
brilliant for Premier League. You, so you think Tuchel coming in is the end of Carl Walker? I'm not saying it's the end of him, but I, unless you play Carl Walker where Stones is, I just don't think you do. Okay. So I think it'll be Trent at right wing back. It'll be Luke Shaw if he's fit left wing back or it will try someone else. So I've got Leif Davis here. Okay. Right? That's a surprise. The two in the middle of the park almost. Yeah. Declan Rice, Drew Benham like, alongside him as that eight. The two ahead of them, yeah. Saka on the right, Jack Greenish on the left. And I still think he's going to go Harry Kane down the middle. No Cole Palmer. No. And the reason why I go Harry Kane is because Harry Kane scored 44 goals for him. Yeah, and he's probably the best we've got. Yes. Right? So, and he's England captain. Yeah. So I think Harry Kane will start. Go, on the go through your, your team one more time. Pickford in goal. Three at the back Stones, Mark Gahey, Levi Corwell. Ring backs Trent, Luke Shaw. Obviously, question about Luke Shaw fitness. Rice, Bellingham, Saka, Grealish, Harry Kane. Okay. You've heard um, Bentley's five point plan for how mm. England are going to win the World Cup you can find up and agree or disagree or maybe there's something that we're forgetting and you want to have your say and also do you fancy our chances now of winning the World Cup you know more than ever before another left back option as well cool. sorry, Lewis Hall ok oh. lots there Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport.